Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, James, and whoo, let me tell you, summer is here in full force out here in the desert, so much so that I think I'm losing my mind. I mean, I'm starting to see, like, beautiful women out here. Hey! What, what are you doing out here? Anyways, I don't know what her deal is, but, um, today is actually the perfect day to do some melted crayon art. Which I'm super excited to try. I've never done it before, but I got these brand new large canvases. Well, large for me. And uh, looking forward to getting messy. <laughs> Alright, let the games begin. So, this first piece, I'm actually going to do all three. Um, <laughs> I couldn't help myself. This first one was so fun, I just, I did another and another. So I made three melted crayon pieces. So this first one, I wanted to do, just dip my toes in the water a bit, do some kind of abstract crayon piece. So um, I start off by breaking them into pieces uh, and getting my heat gun ready. And I'm just kind of rolling the dice, throwing it random, like no thought into this really other than like the color palette. And I'm just, as you can see, I kind of just quickly brushed it, you know, um, and just let them fall where they fall um, for it to be kind of random and fun. And I am manipulating the, uh, <clears throat> the wax, you know, the hot wax um, a little bit. You can kind of move it around with the, the wind uh, coming off of the heat gun. But um, yeah, I'm kind of just learning a little bit feeling it out um, and I gotta say I <laughs> this is so much fun this is like you get to play with power tools well if you call a heat gun a power tool I guess it would be anyways so I, I got my my big pieces done and I thought there's still needs more color so I shredded a lot you probably saw I shredded a whole bunch of little shavings and I'm just melting those on now and I tried to place them in spots I thought would look good. And um, I know looking good is subjective, but yeah, there it is. I like how it turned out. I'm pretty much done now and uh, letting it dry. And now we're moving on to the next one. So that, that first piece, I think I'm going to call Crayon Explosion. Because if you stare at it long enough, it kind of looks almost like an asteroid, like a crayon made of ast... No, an asteroid made of crayons exploding you'll you'll you, if, if you <laughs> if you saw it in person you'd know what I mean so this next piece I'm doing a, a very blue cool it's all mostly blue there's a little purple a little black and gray but I wanted to do like a very very almost monochromatic piece here and it's almost monochromatic if it wasn't for the one purple and, you know, I guess if you count black and gray. Now this kind of evolved as I was making this. I originally was just gonna kind of leave it flat and just let it melt all over the place, but I thought it would be kind of cool to have them all melt down the middle, you know what I mean? of the, I guess, arrow, and looking at it now, it almost looks like butterflies, and so I'm going to call this piece Butterfly Through Time. Yeah, I kind of like how it turned out. So that was fun, and um, I'm really starting to get into this medium. Uh, I There are some downsides to this medium, which I learned kind of later. But, um, man, it's so much fun. I, I really enjoy it. So this, this third and final piece is, um, I wanted it to be like looking through a window, kind of like, so that's why I outlined all that stuff. But, you know, it, halfway through that <laughs> plan went out the window. Um, so I'm setting up the night sky. This is going to be like a sky, a sky scene with maybe a sunset at the bottom. That's, that was the plan going into this. And that is what I do. That's I, I follow through with that plan. So I'm just melting. I'm actually using some of the mm, drips, the drip puddles from the uh, butterfly piece as like filler because 
Like I didn't have just, I bought three boxes of 24 crayons, but I still feel like, you know, I didn't have enough blues and blacks and darks and purples and stuff. So uh, yeah, I'm just filling in that night sky with the blacks, grays, and you know, it, it's kind of going really nicely. Um, everything's merging together and blending into like this swirling, swooshy mass of galaxy. Um, and for the, uh, the sky and sun part, and uh, I guess earth down at the bottom, um, <laughs> I did something kind of, you know, I broke the, I actually cut the crayons into like a billion pieces and laid them down, which was a lot of work. Honestly, the mo the most work with this is um, like cutting the paper off the crayons. It's just kind of a pain. They probably sell paperless crayons. <clears throat> I'm sure you can get them like wholesale or something if if this is something I want to really get into. But now I'm just blowing the uh, the cloud, the pink clouds, and the red sky and just swirling it, swirling it with that wind like I was talking about earlier, and uh, I decided it was time to throw some stars up into the, uh, the sky, so I shredded a little bit of uh, white and melting it in, but you know, it, it turns out to kind of get all washed out, and like, the more I heat it up, and the more I play with it, the more it kind of moves and swirls and washes. And so I end up having to do a, a round two of the um, a round round two of stars later. But here I'm just you know really really enjoying the the spreading that can happen with these. I mean it's so much fun. It's almost like poured uh, resin. I think I've seen stuff like that. Um, it almost reminds me of that. Hey, what's up, everybody? So it's the next day, and um, I just wanted to show you the finished product before I tried this uh, fixative that it says it's made for crayon, but a little nervous to do it because it is like wax and I don't know. But anyways, this is the one that I probably am most happy with. It's, it's kind of shiny as you can see. I'm really hoping the fixative fixes that, but maybe if I hold it at an angle, you can see, you know, the pretty melted crayon effect. And the inspiration for this is like a night sky, but like a, it's really like at sunset so that you can see like there's the sun and like all the pretty colors that a sunset has. So, anyway, I'm really hoping that I can get rid of that shine with this fixative, but we'll see. I, I would just be happy if it didn't completely, like, melt and ruin it somehow. And this one is actually the first one that I did. Uh, I call it color explosion, I guess, <laughs> or something like that, I don't know. I was going for like a modern, well not modern, but like an abstract, you know, kind of a random effect. I kind of like how it turned out. It's pretty much just what I imagined it was going to look like. And yeah, there's that one. And this one, I this was the second one I did actually. Um, you know, I'm very happy with how this turned out too. Uh, they kind of look like butterflies. That was honestly not my original intention for this piece, but I like how it happened. It's kind of like a happy accident where um, they just kind of look like kind of butterflies flying through time and space. So anyways, yeah. So, pretty happy with how the crayons turned out. Um, fingers crossed that everything goes smoothly when I spray on this fixative. Wish me luck.
Hey, what's up everybody? So I'm back out here at the desert with Paige and um, so it turns out that the sealant I was going to use says do not use in hot and humid conditions. So yeah, I'm pretty much screwed. I live in Florida so it's hot and humid like 24-7. <laughs> so uh, really don't know what I'm going to do about that. Um, maybe I'll just wait till the winter to, <laughs> to seal them which is kind of a bummer. I was hoping to seal them, get them ready to go, and try to sell these. Put them, I was gonna do maybe some experiment, uh, put them up on Etsy or eBay or something, figure out a way to sell them. Um, but uh, we'll see, I might, <laughs> I might just go for it in the midday sun. Maybe all the, you know, sunlight and energy will just evaporate all the humidity I don't know uh, but yeah so that's how that's going well that's it for this one guys I hope you liked it if you did and if you made it this far to the end of the video congratulations by the way um, it's an elite group of people that actually make it all the way through my videos so if you did go ahead and congratulate me with a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because you obviously like the stuff so also if you are interested in buying one of these crayon pieces that I made, uh, follow me on Facebook. I have a Facebook page, the Trusty Trout Studio Facebook page. Um, go look for it, find it, and send me a message. Uh, say, hey, uh, I really like, you know, the piece you made. Uh, is it still available? Um, I'd like to buy it, and uh, we can make it happen. So, anyways. I had a lot of fun with this. I hope you liked watching. Have a great day, guys. Love you. Bye.